Hello. <laughs> One second. It's all been going on. Hmm. Here we are. Here we are. I'm just dropping into Instagram at the same time. Hello. Thank you all for your patience, my loves. I had a bit of fun navigating <laughs> the tech. Um, but let me know when you hop on and also let me know. Nice sound effect in the background. Um, let me know where you are. Let me know if you're here joining me live or if you're watching the replay. All of this is good stuff. Um, all part of it and I feel like I'm quite used to the tech going a little um, chaotic so I'm bringing it in I got it we got this under control and it's day one of bloom so you are here hey love hey Michelle to connect for three days with me and hopefully you can all join all three or catch the replays and I'm going to be taking you through a three day journey of mini uh, connection points, basically. So, this is a journey for us to connect with our body's wisdom centers, to deepen into what is here for us this well of wisdom of the feminine when we connect with our bodies and how our bodies nourish us, how our bodies really show us and tell us and guide us when we give them the time. So really celebrating you for joining, for coming here, for putting time aside and really looking forward to diving in. So what we are doing today is connecting with our womb. So let me know if you have worked with the womb. I know Michelle, you have. Um, this is such a powerful center to reclaim and to work with on a daily basis is what I normally suggest to women that I work with deeply is to really start to listen to the womb, to really give time to connect and to anchor into this sacred creational center that is your womb. And it's been a big journey for me coming home to my womb. And that's something that I will be posting about as well this week. My journey of, you know, deepening into my body has very much been about reclaiming the womb, reclaiming my seat of self, my seat of power. So this is your seat of self, your seat of power, feminine power as a woman. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful reclamation of self and source and energy and vitality. Because when we are connected to this creational seat of self, it's like a motor, you know, it's where we can connect with our creativity, our inspiration, our turn on, our sexuality, you know, really feel connected to our essence, to who we are each as individual, authentic, radiant women. So today we're gonna activate and connect with the womb. And we're also going to bring in some breath work with womb to heart. So when we activate the womb and the heart, that's a really beautiful process of opening up, of opening up to more of our truth, to opening up and expanding into taking up space in our bodies and really feeling anchored in ourselves. And so also what is really beautiful about working with the breath is that we are clearing, we are cleansing. So let me know if you beauties have been experiencing a lot of energy, <laughs> a lot of energy in the last couple of weeks because I've really been moving through it myself and tuning into this next wave of collective feminine power that is wanting to be embodied and embraced by those of us who are here to walk this path. So let me know if that resonates, if that's bringing something through for you, because this is also why I felt so called and 
drawn and inspired to holding this three day mini series. Because those of us who are moving and embodying and here to anchor the feminine, both in our lives and collectively, it is such a powerful journey. It's such a powerful journey to connect with the body. Um, don't feel left out, Michelle. It's, it's also, it's a personal thing too. You know, there's not just one way. And also, you know, we're holding space for it all. It can affect some of us sometimes and some of us other times. So yeah, just feeling and welcoming it all, welcoming where you're at, welcoming how you're feeling. All of you is welcome. And that is a mantra that I have in my spaces. There is oh, so much power in claiming and owning all of ourselves, all of our expressions, all of who we are, and knowing that we are right here, right now, in the present moment, perfectly connected, perfectly sourced, perfectly whole, perfectly whole. So really welcoming that all in right now before we connect with the womb. So, mm, 1717, woo! So what we are gonna start with is to get comfortable. If you're somewhere and you're watching the replay or you're here with me now, I just invite you to get comfortable. We wanna feel like, you know, we've got some space to move, some space to anchor, some space to be, some space to take up space and express in whatever way you need to with the body, with your body, because also your body is going to move differently to my body. And this is also something that I teach is how to allow your body to guide you. Your body is the wise keeper. Your body knows how she wants to move you, how she wants to express, how she wants to feel. And the more that we can give her Space, the more connected we are going to feel, the more liberated in who we are versus looking you know, for someone else or outside of ourselves as a way to be. So we are coming into owning, claiming our bodies as our wise keepers, as the guides, as these powerful, safe homes are, the homecoming to really anchor into the body and trust. Trust is Oh, a big part of the journey, isn't it? I know coming into connection with trust and building and cultivating a practice of trust and faith and listening is going to really help ignite your feminine medicine, your feminine wisdom, your feminine power, because the feminine works within the realms of the unseen. We can't see until it's made manifest, but also the feminine is always present. It's always present, yet when we're kind of drawing upon our feminine, it's not something that we're tangibly saying, okay, I've got this thing at here. <laughs> like, okay, we're, we're building and we're cultivating a connection with our internal power that is supporting us to create the physical. So it's really, really powerful. Yeah, trust is huge and a really, it's a foundation. The deeper that I have created space for trust and faith and listening, really listening deeply to my body, the more that I felt, you know, held and, um, and empowered, empowered, really understanding of um you know, the subtleties of life as well and how powerful the potential of life is. There's this potential that when we can really weave in the connecting with that on a daily basis, it also supports so many areas of our lives open up. There is potential, there is always potential. So, hey, love. Hey, 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 Al. Um, so I could speak to this all day and clearly tell, let's get into it. So if you want to 
close down your eyes, start with this is an internal journey, inviting yourself inward, inviting yourself to soften, inviting yourself to really be with that potential, feminine power, that wisdom that you hold within your body, closing your eyes down. And also what a beautiful um, invitation that I normally offer with these Faces, whatever it is that I'm holding, um, is to set an intention. If you have an intention for where you are right now, if you have an intention for opening up to something, to hearing more guidance, to being um, inspired, to being creatively awakened, to trusting yourself more, whatever that is, I invite you to set that intention now. Really. Feel it. What is it that you are desiring right now? More clarity on, more understanding, more connection. And then I invite you to start by placing your hands on your womb and taking a few deep breaths. In cleansing breath, opening breath. <sighs> Again, listening to your body. This is your journey, it's a unique journey for you. Listening how your body wants to breathe you. Is it long and slow breath? Or is it quicker breaths? Whatever that feels, allowing yourself to. Think deeper with the breath. To let go of your mind. At least soften your mind. And if you feel like you want to invite your mind to soften, rest. Don't worry. You've got this. Your body has got this. Your womb is ready to gift you whatever it is that you are ready to receive. So breathing in the way that feels good for you, dropping down from your mind, <sighs> dropping down into your third eye, down into your throat, into your heart, into your belly, softening at your belly here. a few deep breaths into your belly here. <sighs> Allowing for any sounds as you're breathing, if you're wanting to sigh or you're wanting to release, whatever is coming up or coming through, give yourself permission to express that with the breath. <sighs> Oh, all of you is welcome. All of your expression. And then dropping down into your hips as you connect with your womb. Bringing in some spirals of your hips. Opening up, connecting with your pelvic bowl. Ooh. And as you are opening up your hips, visualizing a beautiful golden thread sinking deep down into the earth from your root at the base of your spine, sinking deep into the earth, into Mother, into Gaia, sending those roots deep down through earth and rock and roots, connecting with the womb, the cosmic womb of the mother, of creation. Really feeling and drawing up her energy and nourishment, connecting with that infinite potential. 
Softening your body as you deepen into the earth, deeper and deeper into the earth. Oh, loosening your hips, any tension in your buttocks and your thighs, shaking it out. Sinking your roots. Feeling that connection and nourishment, drinking it in from the mother. Drawing it up through that golden thread, that golden umbilical cord of nourishment. Drawing it up. Mm. Drinking it in. Feeling ah, your root chakra opening. If you can imagine the root chakra opening, releasing anything that you may have been holding on to, any fear, any restriction, any resistance to nourishment, to life, really opening up and seeing those roots golden umbilical cord pulsating, signing, opening, clearing through with golden light, the connection to the mother, drawing up her energy into your womb. And as you draw up that delicious golden light, Inviting it to circle and spiral in your womb. Opening up your womb, clearing your pelvic bowl. This golden energy welcoming, spiraling of your hips, welcoming any shaking of your buttocks your thighs, Shoo. any part of you that feels like wants to release any tension, you can connect by squeezing your buttocks, connecting with your lower back, giving your lower back a massage, really welcoming in mm, more of that beautiful golden light into your pelvic bowl. Squeezing your thighs, Ooh. opening up, yeah, opening up, opening up, and clearing. Ooh. This beautiful spiral and swirling energy, this golden light, activating, clearing, cleansing your womb. If anything is ready to be released. Shoo. Yeah, drawing that energy into every nook and crevice of your pelvic floor, really feeling that juicy golden light shining, radiating mm, as you take up space as your womb flame, beautiful nourishment, drinks it in, draws it in, mm. activating, enlivening, vital energy, oh. clearing, cleansing, activating, I'm bringing some deeper breath now, in through the nose, out through the mouth, cleansing breath, activating breath. And softening your jaw as your jaw is connected to your pelvic floor. So when you soften your jaw, it helps to soften your pelvic floor and to open up. Ooh, your connection to your womb, expanding, enlivening. 
Smiling, so softening your jaw. I'm going to bring in a few circular breaths, which is in through the mouth, out through the mouth. In your own time. Ah. You're spiraling your hips in a way that feels really good for you. Shaking out, shaking out your hips, your legs, shaking out your body, opening up your shoulders. Now we're going to bring in a breath, activating breath between your womb and your heart. So opening up ah, your womb to your heart, clearing through your belly, softening your belly. And so really feeling into what feels natural for you in this breath flow. So this is for you to open up, expand through your belly and into your heart. So you might want to continue breathing the circular breath or connect with in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just try a couple of different ways that feel good to you or just go with what naturally wants to happen. And so you're inviting this golden energy that you've been swirling around your womb to you move up through your belly and into your heart. And as you breathe from your womb to your heart, I invite you to open up your shoulders so that you're opening up your heart space. You're allowing for your heart to open as you release and dissolve anything that you may be holding onto, any protection, anything that may be feeling tight or tense in your heart. So you want to breathe from your womb all the way to your heart, opening your heart and back down. Through your womb, belly, heart, and then back down, breathing up that golden light. Really connecting in with however that feels good for you, listening to your body. Oh. Oh. creating space in your body for vital energy, for your feminine power oh, to inspire you, your creative flow to awaken within you. Oh. Inviting the roll of your spine as you open. Oh. 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 Really taking in deep breaths that you can really feel a cleansing and activating you. Maybe you're getting hot. Maybe you're feeling slightly oh, turned on. Oh. Whatever it is that you're feeling, all is welcome. Feeling emotions. Oh, if you're not feeling anything, all is welcome. Really inviting you to listen to your body. How she wants to move you. And then connecting with your heart as you're breathing, just tapping on your heart, opening up any tension in the muscles. Deep breathing from your womb into your heart, opening up your heart, really tapping on your shoulders, all around your heart, on your breasts, under your arms, hold a lot of tension. Oh, and allowing any sound to come through that feels good. So really inviting that golden energy to swirl through your heart, swish through your heart. 
radiating through your heart. Oh. You're safe. Safe to open. You are safe to receive. You are safe to connect. You are safe to be in your body. Oh. Your body is so wide. Ooh. Maybe tapping on your belly. Oh. And then placing one hand on your womb and one hand on your heart, really feeling the energy moving from your womb into your heart, taking up space, oh, opening, oh, swirling your hips, really activating, oh, opening your shoulders, allowing your full channel, to open. Clearing through anything that wants to be released all the way back into the mother, down and through umbilical cord into the mother. And now we're going to sit with one hand on your heart, one hand on your womb, and listen. Listen and invite whatever wisdom, whatever guidance that wants to come through. Listening, receiving yourself. Dropping into that infinite potential, drawing from the mother, cosmic womb of creation, listening to your womb of creation, listening to your heart of truth, love. Feeling that golden energy moving through you, through every cell, activating, awakening more of yourself, your essence, your beauty, your radiance. Listening. And inviting your womb, asking your womb to speak, asking your heart to speak, asking your body to speak to you, to receive the guidance that is ready for you. Sitting here for another few minutes, really drinking in drinking yourself in, receiving yourself, receiving the source nourishment that is always here for you. Softening and receiving. Welcoming all of you into wholeness, welcoming all of you into love. Really honoring yourself here. 
Mm. And then allowing your breath to soften, allowing your energy. Oh, you move down that beautiful golden light, travel down through your heart, your belly, your womb, back down into that umbilical cord, down into the mother. Just visualizing that your womb and your heart, beautiful, open, blooming roses, whatever colors feel good to you, feeling them open, radiant, full, hot. Mm. Vital, awakened, enlivened, inspired. And you can connect and stay here for as long as feels good. If you want to, to deepen into this practice. If you feel like you want to grab a pen and paper and write anything down or grab your oracle cards or do some drawing, whatever it is that you feel inspired to do right now, or simply just be. I invite you to listen to your body, to listen to what you desire. Give yourself that space and that opportunity. And whew, let me know if anything came through that you want to share any guidance, any insights, any visions, any feelings, any emotions, anything that you want to share, let me know in the comments. And this is such a powerful practice that I do every day, whether it's in the morning or later on in the day or even in the evening to really deepen my connection to my wisdom, to my feminine power, because it's so easy to get lost in the mind. And we can think so much because that is what we are taught to do. This is where we are taught to stay within the mental confines of the mind. But when we come deeper, we drop deeper in these powerful wisdom centers, we receive so much of ourselves. We come home to our bodies, we feel vital, we feel pleasure, we feel passion, we feel purpose. So if this is what you are, this is the journey that you're on, I really deeply, deeply invite you the journey with this practice every day. It's simple and it's really, really potent. And all the other practices that I'm going to be sharing over the next two days are also going to be really simple and powerful for you to really honor what is coming through, what is emerging, what is being illuminated, what is being whispered to you on these deeper levels because you're here because something is moving you something is coming through something is wanting to bloom so I would love also to hear if you have a feeling if you have a desire what your intention is so that we can really activate and amplify that which is what we do in circle it's a beautiful thing you know, for us as women to gather together and really amplify and um, support and hold one another in this frequency, 
of the feminine. And so yeah, let me know. And I'm really glad that was beautiful mm, in the heart. Yes, it can be, you know, even five or 10 minutes of this practice every day, consistency is the key, will shift, you know, a lot. Um, the more that we can do this work within the body, the more that we will feel clear, the more that we will feel um, less stressed and anxious and worried as well, which is all, <laughs> all from that overthinking um, space within us. So, yeah, deepening into that. <sighs> my intention is to be able to connect my feminine whilst going about my everyday life and not lose it in the masculine. Yes, Michelle, I'm really holding that intention with you. That is <sighs> really something that we are all working on. All of us are working on. You know, really trusting, deepening into our feminine power and feeling you know, like we are inspired by our creativity you know, so that we can feel connected to life and not feel that, you know, just heaviness and weight of moving about our day. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So holding that space for you, Michelle, and for all of you who have intentions, who watch the replay, let us know so we can hold space and yeah. This is a powerful portal of safety and nourishment. Bloom, bloom, bloom. This is the invitation. This is the invitation. And yeah, it's our time. It is the summer, it's the time to bloom. So sending you all so much love. Thank you for being here with me. I will be dropping in again tomorrow at the same time, both on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, we'll be working with activating through the throat chakra. So that's going to be really powerful too. So we're building here, we're building. This is what we do when we're working with these practices. We're building from the root to the womb, the heart to the throat. We're really awakening our full channel awakening our full channel for the bloom for the blossoming or whatever it is that is ready to be illuminated and brought forward you are the power you are the creatress you are the one that really invites it so this is what we are going to be doing and ah oh, i love 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 it and thank you all and see you tomorrow. If you have any questions or comments, as I said, just let me know. You can private message me as well if you prefer. Um, this is a space for the next two more days, three days, to really anchor in and, yeah, receive. Receive, receive, receive. So lots of love and see you tomorrow. Bye.